Hello everyone, Yasas. This is Matilda and welcome to Tilda's Cookbook. Quince is a seasonal fruit that uh, very rarely we can eat it raw due to its tart taste. However, in Greece we make it into delicious desserts uh, either in the oven or in the pot so we can enjoy it uh, throughout the year. It is one of my favorites uh, during this season and I hope you're gonna enjoy this recipe. So with no more delay, let's get started. After we rinse um, our quinces, we are going to take the, the peels off and I find the easiest way with a, a peeler and I do it all around. But you can peel them uh, whichever way you find more convenient for you. Then we are going uh, to shred uh, our quince and I'm using this uh, old gadget from the time of my grandmother, really. This is the original they used to, it's a shredder for quince especially, because it has large holes, but you can use any shredder with the large holes you have, or also, um, I thought perhaps you could use a mandolin, you know, like uh, you do for french fries, and it would make it um, into longer strips. At this point, I would like to welcome any of you who are new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, it would make me very happy. And if you'd like to give me a thumbs up, that would also make me very happy as well. Quince is a very hard fruit and uh, in the old age, it used to be harder than today, but still you have to be very careful with your fingers while you're shredding it. And I stop when I come to the core of the fruit which, uh, by the way, you can save together with the peels and uh, use it inside your marmalades when you make marmalades because it has a lot of pectin in there and uh, it thickens them up really quickly. By the time we shred uh, the last uh, quince, the rest of it has already taken color and the more you leave it out in the air, the more it becomes darker and uh, the more reddish it's going to be while cooking. I'm going to weigh my fruit after it's been peeled. It's about a kilo because it was uh, 900 uh, my uh, bowl, which I will subtract, and I will measure the same amount of sugar. And uh, it needs uh, the same amount of sugar because this is a very tart fruit in general. You can always use a little less, but um, normally this is the way of doing it. On medium to high heat, I'm going to put all my queens in a pot. I'll pour the sugar. And I'm gonna pour one glass of water and the general rule is um, for every kilo of fruit, we put one glass of water. I'll give it a little mix. And slowly let it simmer. I keep mixing a little bit until my sugar uh, starts to get uh, dissolved. And see how it starts uh, becoming a bit more liquid with the sugar and the water. As soon as it starts uh, getting a good boil, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my heat a little bit into medium, give it a little mix and uh, let it simmer there until it gets cooked and I get a nice syrup. While my fruit is cooking, I'm going to sterilize my jars by putting them in the oven. After about uh, half an hour, I think it's almost ready, I'm gonna make a test, taking a little bit of uh, my syrup, putting it on a cold plate and let it cool down. It needs to be uh, not runny, but uh, a little thicker. So you see it's uh, quite good. I don't know whether you are able to see it because it's a bit uh, light. Maybe here, see it's not uh, dripping very easily so it needs a little more time but now I'm going to uh, pour my lemon juice 
and the almonds. And this is optional, but this is the traditional way of uh, making it. You can have it without if you prefer, but the crunchiness that uh, it gives, it really, uh, it's something else. And also I'm going to put uh, the Arba Rodiza, which gives a nice scent. And if you don't have that, you can always use uh, a little bit of vanilla or vanillin or anything you prefer. I'm just gonna let it uh, boil for an extra few minutes together with the lemon juice and the sand. And it's gonna be ready to be put in the jars. Before I put them in my jars, I'm gonna take uh, the arbaroriza out. And while it is uh, still hot, I'm gonna fill up my jars, trying to get uh, some fruit together with the syrup. I'll fill it up as much as possible all the way to the top. Put the lid on. Close it really tightly and turn it upside down and let it cool down there so that uh, we'll have uh, the canned process. In Greece, uh, usually we serve it in a little plate like this one and this is why we call it a spoon dessert see how wonderful it is it turned out really nice but uh, let me tell you I also love to eat it on top of yogurt because with the sourness of the yogurt and the sweetness of the dessert it's really a delight so let's give it a taste My friends, it is really, really yummy. I hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. And I hope to see you back next time. Until then, happy cooking. Bye-bye, everyone.